Short sellers and RVC get ready to feel some pain. Hey, cryptocurrency fans, how y'all doing? Emia Hilson here. Today, I want to be talking about my biggest portfolio position in Galaxy Digital and the latest short seller trend that I've noticed. All right, there's a big, there's a nice increase of 7% in today's valuation. And I, I didn't realize this, but it took me a few days to figure out that there was actually a short seller trend that was happening. You know, I found it through the conversation forum and Yahoo Finance, thanks to you guys. And then I found it on Reddit as well, how RBC, the Royal Bank of Canada, and an anonymous short seller is trying to push down the stock's value, the company's valuation. And then also found some information on the institutional transactions. And if you guys know a website to find more information on institutional buying and selling, please let me know and put it in the comment section below or something. I think it's super important information and super useful if you could share. Okay, so I got some information from here how the anonymous seller and RBC are kind of the biggest sellers and buyers because they have to cover the short position, right, to close it off. You can see RBC, in a way, they bought really less, 70000 and then they sold that much. But, you know, it feels like RBC is the biggest seller. You know, CIBC is probably up there, but I need to do a little bit more research. But as you can see here, anonymous buyer bought this much and that's probably to close their short seller position now it's weird you look at the company itself right and how <laughs> you look at all these tweets you know it's it's a short seller short squeeze rally happening right now and i wonder why are rbc and some other anonymous sellers trying to short this company I, in my opinion, this company is really great. You know, if you're investing in cryptocurrency, this is my cryptocurrency play. They're, they're very complete business lines, okay? They have asset management, trading, all this, principal investments, investment banking, portfolio management, all related to cryptocurrency. And when you look at cryptocurrency itself, it's just going to get bigger over time. You know, it's market cap. And you can see the growth of this company in its asset management compared it to the beginning of the year when it was managing 830 million dollars in assets now it's managing at 2.2 billion and guess what this month it's going to be even more because you look at bitcoin and ethereum's price action this month they've both been on fire okay both at all-time highs right now and this should mean that the asset uh, the assets under management should be much higher and it should give uh galaxy a more high a more a higher valuation in a way now you look at bitcoin and ethereum's price right they've been trending really high this month and you look at it compared to galaxy well galaxy hasn't done much you know it's been around 20s it hasn't really done much and that's because of the short sellers now that I realize they're trying to push its valuation down in a way and it sucks seeing that because you know short sellers I guess they want a company to not succeed in a way sometimes or they just try to profit off of something but Galaxy is a great company in my mind okay I've made it into my number one position you know right here this is how much I have invested in it this is how much <laughs> I put in and you guys can take a look so I'm just kind of sad that you know there will be companies out there trying to do that but you know what there's both sides to a coin you know there's all types of people out there in the world that's something you have to accept but i love what galaxy is doing and i think this is just the start of its price rally you know there's going to be a nasdaq listing probably at the end of this year the big gold transaction is going to be fully integrated integrated this quarter as well and it's upcoming quarter i think it's going to be a lot of news a lot of news especially their nasdaq listing as well anyways 
if you're interested in finances, check out my channel. I also just released a video today talking about my entire investment portfolio. If you haven't seen that, I'll put the link right here. And if you're interested, you can join in to my Discord and we'll have a nice conversation about finances or anything else that you want to talk about. Okay, as always, I'm just sharing you my honest opinion and I wish for the best for me and all of you. Okay, take care and see you all very, very soon.